What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol WISH for Context Logic Inc., or just simply WISH. On the left hand side, we have the daily time frame chart, and on the right hand side, the 30 minute intraday chart. So, starting off here, this of course will be a bit more of an update. We've covered it in the past, and the main thing to discuss here is the potential for a double bottom off of this floor that's in place, $6.28. So, if we can start breaking out above $6.70, then there's a likelihood that we move to the top of this range here between 741 and 767. That is also the neckline from a large, you know, if you want to look at this double bottom like this, right? So here's your double bottom this way. This could technically be a breakout point as well for the neckline break and truly the double bottom to play out. And noting that we also have a large gap in the chart, you know, if we break that neckline, that could be a really attractive trade up and over the $7.67 mark to fill the gap up towards 933. Noting we do have a structural bump in the road at $8 and 88 cents but that's you know again from a longer term perspective a very valid pattern here inside of wish now don't get me wrong if we scrunch up the daily chart you can clearly see we are in a pretty aggressive downtrend here and that would be asking uh, sort of a lot right in my opinion for that you know full-on reversal to do something like this so it might happen really slow but that's the overall structure that I'm seeing and the potential for that to pan out is there if we take a look at the 30 minute intraday time frame charts just to see if we're uh, missing anything are we getting it right what other levels to pay attention to well, I would argue that into the end of the day here on Friday, we saw a little bit of expansion of range. So let's actually zoom in a little bit more here and take out the Fibonacci tools and just throw them on from low to high and see where our 38.2 is. So here's the 930 candle. We'll go all the way on up to the high of the day, essentially. And the 38.2 is here at $6.50. We'll call it for round numbers sake. And we are trading above that into the extended hours. Right over here, you can see we're trading 662 by 664. So actually quite high right up towards those highs of days. So on on Monday morning, as long as we can open above this 650 mark, and what I'll do is just throw on a regular price level here at 650, noting that it was also prior structure as well, so I like that. Uh, we're going to get rid of the fibs to make it look uh, nice and easy here. As long as we can consolidate here, again, you're looking for that breakout up and over 670 to get us into the top of the daily range up towards $7.41, then monitoring for continuation for the larger and uh, you know higher time frame double bottom to truly pan out and potentially, not guaranteed, but potentially potentially fill that gap towards 933. So that's what I'm seeing here. If we do open below 650 and we start trading lower, just sit on your hands and be patient. See if we do come back down into the floor at 628. If we bounce from there, fine. You can relook at that 650 mark, uh, depending on what structure builds out. But if we break down, as we know, we are in a strong uh, daily downtrend. So just don't try to fight that too hard. This is, you know, kind of, kind of picking for a bottom here. Uh, and we want to be, you know, cognizant of that, right? I'm sure it's a, the, the pattern is valid, but we need to know the context in which we're trying to do this, right? So all things considered, watching 650 as a line in the sand, open above, fine, look for the reversal, open below, be patient here inside of Wish. So that's going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it or learned anything new, let me know down below in the comment section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.